Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a long one, so I suggest that you grab a drink, grab some snacks, because you're going to be here for a while. I am going to do a haul of all the things that I picked up whilst I was in New York. New York was amazing, as you know, they have like most of the makeup and hair products and clothing that we don't really get over here, and it's for cheaper, so I kind of went crazy. First of all, there is a shop in New York, and probably all across America, I'm not 100% sure, called Ricky's. And that shop right there, if you followed me on Snapchat, you would have seen my excitement. But that shop, oh my god, like it has everything, everything. So when I went in there, obviously it was like, oh, like lines of the products. They had Diva Curl, they had Camille Rose Natural. The Dominican products that I like, they had Shea Moisture, they had anything you can think of, I'm pretty sure that they had. This is the bag that they have. Rookies. From there, I picked up something that I've been wanting to get for such a long time because I just see everyone on YouTube and like celebrities and stuff always talk about this and I have dark circles under my eyes and um, I'm really trying to find ways to get rid of that. I'm trying to step up my makeup game as you can see because i don't really wear a lot of makeup where i have to take pictures and stuff for instagram and videos you kind of have to have a clear looking face so i got the banana powder yay and this stuff was just 12.99 now i have friends back here that tried to get a hold of this um from online and stuff and they'll pay like maybe 20 pound for this and this is what it looks like I didn't get the massive one because I don't feel like I really will use it that that often that I need a big one. You kind of use that as a powder under your eyes or you do it to bake as they say. Next from Ricky's from the makeup section I picked up just a little beauty blender. It was I think it was like 3 99 It wasn't like the, um, the real beauty blender but it's just a copy and it's fine it's perfect for me then i got this concealer that i have friends that are really into makeup and stuff i'm not too into makeup obviously you know i'm more into hair products i could tell them everything about hair but they um they all recommended this this is the la girl pro concealer it's like a corrector concealer so i went for the yellow color and that is meant to be good for dark circles so obviously again under my eyes and they have like a green color as well and orange i think and then just plain concealer but i went for this one just for under eyes and that was five dollars next hair products from ricky's i didn't go too wild in ricky's because i already had quite a lot already by the time that i'd visited ricky's so i got this um which was seven dollars well 7.99 and I've used this once before at the beginning of my natural hair journey and I really really did enjoy it but I didn't ever repurchase it so I'm excited to try it again and it's quite a big tub for seven dollars seven dollars is like maybe like five pound and over here I think you have to get this for like 12 pounds so that was a bargain um it's the as I am coconut co-wash cleansing conditioner it smells amazing it's really really light and I loved using it in my hair so I'm excited to use this again I have been wanting ever since watching Sunkiss Alba we I feel like we both like natural makeup and stuff and we might have similar skin tone colors so um the makeup that she uses I really wanted to try out and she um really recommends the Alima Pure foundations because they're they've got good ingredients and stuff and I actually picked up the samples from online because you can't get it here in the UK. So I picked up a few samples and I really, really enjoyed using them. But they'd run out now because I got them like last year. So I was so excited to, you know, go pick up a full foundation. They didn't have the golden colour that I usually use. But the people in this store were really, really helpful. And they found one that matches me also. I researched when I was in New York just to find out where I can get the Lima Pure makeup. And a store called Birchbox 
is what came up as stocking the Alima Pure makeup. Birch Box is a beauty box, like how we have Glow Box and then you've got like Curl Box and stuff like that. But it's mainly makeup and then some hair samples and stuff like that. So when I went in there, it was so nice. It was such a nice little like boutique store. I think it was in the Soho area. They didn't have the shade that I wanted, but they were so nice in there. They tested out shades to match my skin tone and stuff like that. So I went for the Alima Pure foundation in the shade Pecan. I can't actually remember the price. I think it may have been like $20 or something like that. So it wasn't too bad because I think in English pounds it would be around £30. And for a good foundation, I don't mind paying around £30 anyway. So it comes like this. And um, the samples lasted me a year. So this will last me a long, long time because there's so much in it. There you go. It comes with a mirror. I was really, really happy with that purchase. Moving on, let's stick with makeup stores then. So... Obviously, you know, I had to hit up Sephora. So from Sephora, I picked up the Tarte makeup, which is another natural makeup brand that I saw on Tasha Green's channel and Sunkiss Alba's channel. And I picked up the Amazonian Butter Lipstick. And I get really, really dry lips, but I've also been wanting to wear more color onto my lips. I don't have it on right now, but this is the Golden Pink really really cute i love the design and this is the color i love the color on my lips it has shea butter jojoba seed oil vitamin e free from parabens and you know sulfates and all of that as soon as you put it on it's really really smooth it's like vaseline kind of and i actually felt my lips tingle which means something is going on something good's happening and it does leave your you do see the color it's quite strong i know they have um they have different colours than pink. I think they've got like nude and then like a reddish colour. Definitely recommend this. I've actually tried it and I've been using it a lot. Next, Victoria's Secret. You know I had to hit up Victoria's Secret. Because that's like the go-to place that everyone seems to go when they visit America. And yeah, yeah. Got my Victoria's Secrets bag. In the hair shops, they sell Victoria's Secret sprays. But I'm starting to question if they're even real. But anyway, the real Victoria's Secret sprays come in a bottle like this. And I tried the new scent. Usually I try, usually I have the Pure Seduction spray, but I tried this one. Rich Amber, Rich Amber. This, this is amazing. Let me just spray it for you guys. But it smells, I can't even describe to you the smell. It's very mature. When I think of the smell, I think of like Morocco. Like it's very exotic and yeah. I think of Morocco when I think of this. And then I had a body cream because there was like a deal on um, when you buy a spray, you get a body cream or something like that. So yeah, I bought the lotion of the Pure Seduction because I love the smell of the Pure Seduction already. Pink store, I had to pick up one of their tracksuits because I've been seeing them around a lot on Instagram and stuff and they're so cute on. Um, so I got the grey one that comes with like this fluorescent colour as well and then grey on the bottom and I got the matching hoodie it looks really really cute on and yeah now let me tell you about a secret gem well it's probably not even secret but this shop that I found in Soho I had to call my friends and tell them you're gonna love this store because it is just amazing like it has all the clothes that like the instagram boutiques have it's really really big inside and the prices are really really reasonable they've got all the accessories like the hats you know them hats that everyone's wearing right now anything that's in fashion that's your place to go their accessories are amazing i've never found something like this here in the uk and this was on sale for 9.99 usually it's 14.99 and you may have seen me wearing these on instagram they are like fake nose studs and i'm sure you could put it around your ear but i've been using it to put here or here so you just simply like that and then it, it looks so real. A lot of people were like, oh, did you get your nose pierced? And I'm like, no, it's fake. I got it from New York. To use in the middle as well. 
as a new style. So that was like one of my favorite buys from New York. I am in love with these and they really suit my face. Most sunglasses don't suit me, but these really do. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I love these. I can't wait for summer to rock them all the time, but I would even rock them now. They're just so like fashionable and cute and stylish. I think it's just the shape really suits my face and that's why I love them so much, but yeah, these were only four ninety nine, which is like three or two pounds. That's crazy for these. I need to go back. I just need to go back to shop. Yeah, but I'm away home.